Kingston has just launched new SD and micro SD memory cards. Those are really fast. Some interesting stuff about memory cards coming up. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we get into those memory cards, please consider subscribing to my channel. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and also about Olympus gear and this time also about memory cards. And first a disclaimer, these memory cards were sent to me from Kingston. They did not ask me to do any videos, but uh, since I've been using Kingston memory cards in the past, I was really excited to make this video and I found these memory cards to be really good. I've used them a couple of days now and and just, as you will find out, these memory cards are really, really fast. I was talking about that I have been using uh, Kingston memory cards before and here is my first Kingston memory card. It's a whooping two gigabyte card. And this card is from 2003. So I've been using Kingston memory cards way back in the past, but not recent years because they haven't had any really fast cars. Cards. Really fast cars. No, Kingston doesn't make any cars. It's cards. But before we get into those cards, let's talk about how to choose a memory card, because that's a really important part of your photography. It's not as important as film, but you need a memory card in, in uh, newer cameras. They don't have any internal memories, at least when this video was made. We don't know what, this, what it is in the future. But the first thing, of course, is the capacity and the speed. Those are the things that you need to consider. And Olympus cameras, they take SD cards. If you are just a general everyday shooter, a hobbyist that make images every now and then and or a street photographer who doesn't have really fast pace of making images it doesn't really matter how fast your car is the capacity could be an issue if you take a lots and lots of photographs maybe you will have a bigger card but my recommendation is to have several smaller cards than one big one because even though the memory cards that we have are quite durable something might go wrong. If there's something wrong with the card, then you will at least have uh, several cards uh, so that you can continue photographing. And also, if you're on a trip, you don't have every image on the same card. But if you are using, let's say, Olympus cameras and with 50 frames per second pro capture and all that, and then you need fast cards because it will affect on how fast the card will write those images or how fast the camera can write those images to the card. I will be showing a test where I test my older Lexar memory cards against the new ones. They are the different speed grade, but just to make sure that the Kingston memory card speed is actually what it says that it is. But that test is coming up later. And also, if you need to shoot 4K video, you need fast cards. And these Kingston memory cards are said to be all the way up to 8K. So they are a very good investment for the future too. You don't need any new new memory cards anytime soon if you get these, because these can handle 8K, which means that they are really, really fast. But how do you know which card is fast and which is not? There are three numbers that are associated with speed and which tells you the speed of the camera. And I will put a link to a Wikipedia page because these numbers are a bit confusing. But here's a Here's a table that shows you what you need. The reason I'm not explaining it to you uh, word by word, because I'm a bit confused about these numbers, but usually the bigger the numbers, the better the card is, except of course with the capacity. Unless you are doing a lot of video, then you need a bigger card. But if you're a casual shooter, then having several smaller cards could be a wiser thing to do. But my general recommendation is that get at least a 150 megabyte uh, a write sp or read speed for the card. These are 300, so these are really, really fast. And if you are doing 4K video, then V60 is my recommendation. Those are fast enough. And when you were talking about the 300 megabytes on the card, that per second, that, would, that means that it can read the images from the card that fast. But it does not mean that the card can write that fast. These um, memory cards from Kingston, the new Canva React Plus cards, can write 260 megabytes per second. So they're almost 300 and that is quite fast. These Kingston memory cards that I got are called Canvas React Plus and they are V90 
UHC2 class is 3 and the speed class is 10. And the new Kingston Canvas React Plus card comes in four different sizes or capacities. It's 32 gigabytes, 64, 128 and 256. So there's a variety. So you could have actually four 32 gigabytes instead of 128 gigabytes. It depends on your way of shooting. And as I said, reading speed of these cards is 300 megabytes per second and the writing speed is 260 megabytes per second. And also, I said before that they can do 8K video. So they are very good investment for the future. They won't be too slow anytime soon. The package also has a memory card reader. Most memory card readers cannot handle the speed that these Kingston cards has. But with this memory card, you can actually read the card uh, for 300 megabytes per second. So those images are transferred to your computer really fast. And Kingston also sent me a micro SD card, 128 gigabyte card, which I can use in my drone. Unfortunately, it is very rainy today, so I cannot test how fast it is for my drone, but I bet it is fast enough. I will probably tell you in another video when I do something with my drone to tell how fast and how good that memory card is. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to test it right now. This memory card also comes with the memory card reader and a adapter so that you can use it with your SD card reader because the micro SD card is a lot smaller. But now let's test how fast the Kingston can write the files to my camera. I have a reference card, this Lexar card that is uh, half of the speed that my new Kingston cards has. I took a burst of images for about 15 seconds and checked out how many images the camera can capture to the memory card in that time. And it turned out that with the Kingston card it was 148 images and with the Lexar card it was 90 images. And also as you can see from here how much faster the uh, camera was able to write those images to the card. So there is a significant difference in the speed of these cards as there should be. Now that's a good thing. It is twice as fast as the Lexar card. This doesn't mean that this Kingston card is better. These are just different uh, speed class cards. But the reason I wanted to do this is just to test that it actually is twice as fast as the Lexar cards. There's nothing wrong with the Lexar card. I'm not saying that. If I had the same speed grade Lexar card, it most likely would be about the same speed as the Kingston card. So don't get me wrong here. This is not a comparison of these two uh, cards. It's just a reference to show you how speed or fast the Kingston card actually is. And a few other things about memory cards. There's one thing that puzzles me. I don't understand why they still have this locking mechanism on this SD card, because this is a, p a small piece of plastic that can, you know, break. And, and if it breaks, your memory card will be or you won't be able to use your memory cards. This this is, I don't really understand why they have this on these cards anymore. The, it's useless. So I think they should, you know, ditch that and, and, ha and have it without it because we don't need it any or at least I don't need it. And I don't know anybody else who needs it. And also always be careful when handling your memory cards. I do have a Gepe uh, card holder or card pouch or box or whatever you call these and these are really durable and that's why I hold my memory cards in these because it's it protects my my cards and also one thing about cards always format them in your camera that will keep the memory card fresh if you keep uh, formatting it with your computer or uh, deleting your images with the delete button on your camera eventually there will be something wrong and you won't be able to use the camera after you have formatted in the camera again. So, and if on that occasion you do have some images, there are valuable images there, what will happen? You will lose those images. Of course, there are recovery software, but that's not always the best solution because you might not get all the images back. So always format your camera, oh, your camera, no, don't format your camera, format your memory card in the camera to keep the memory card fresh. But this, are really interesting these Kingston cards and as I said they're really fast and can do 8k video so they won't be too slow anytime soon so if you need fast cards 
I would say that Kingston, that is a very good investment. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.